We're going to be talking about broken access control. It's an extremely common type of vulnerability. And a simple example is that an administrator panel should not be accessible to regular users. If a regular user can perform administrator functions, this is an example of broken access control because security controls should prevent a regular user from being able to perform administrator functions. That's what we'll see in this lab. The lab title, Unprotected Admin Functionality. Fairly self-explanatory. Without further ado, let's fire up the lab. One of the typical actions we might take when pen testing a web app is what we can refer to as root enumeration. We want to know all of the various URLs that are available to us so that we can test them all. And they're not necessarily all obvious. It's not as if someone just gives us a list of all the available URLs. Part of the process is figuring out which routes are available. And we can use tools for that. For example, we can use something like Durbuster to iterate over a word list and try a large number of URLs so that we can enumerate all of them. This can take a while though. Some of these word lists can be fairly long and comprehensive. There are a few easy options we can make use of. First of all, the first one is robots.txt. Many sites have this. It's a set of instructions for bots or web crawlers visiting the site. For example, we can see this particular robots.txt has disallow administrator panel. So for example, if the Google bot is looking to crawl the site for the purpose of indexing, it's being told here that it is not allowed to visit forward slash administrator panel. Now this doesn't mean the bot can't visit administrator panel. It really depends on whether the bot wants to follow the rules. So Google bot presumably won't visit this location, but obviously a hacker has no problem in visiting a disallowed location. Think of it simply as a code of ethics. Good bots will follow it, but it's not legally binding and doesn't act as any sort of security control or mechanism here in this case. The reason why we're interested in robots.txt is simply because it can help with root enumeration. Imagine a long list of URLs of all of the locations that a web crawler is not allowed to visit. Well, that's a list of URLs that helps us figure out our attack surface when testing a web app. Administrator panel is fairly self-explanatory. It's very likely to be an administrator panel. We want to visit this location. What would typically happen, assuming we are a regular user or not signed in, when we try and visit the administrator panel, we're going to get a username and password box pop up because the app should realize straight away that we don't have admin rights. But we can see in this case, we're taken straight to the administrator panel. So this is really the simplest incarnation of broken access control. Administrator panels should be protected by an admin username and password, but in this case, it's not. And we can perform administrator actions as an unauthenticated user. The objective of this lab is to delete the user Carlos. We don't really have to do anything complex here. We simply need to click the delete link and the user Carlos has been deleted. Does this type of thing happen in the wild? Yes, it does probably more frequently than you'd imagine. And it can simply just be a case of the developer forgot they were supposed to protect the administrator panel route. Originally, they were probably working on some type of development server, so it wasn't too important. When they finally roll it out to production, they forget they need to protect this particular route. Okay, so this was broken access control should be fairly intuitive and straightforward to understand. Mitigation is simply to make sure you have a password on the administrator routes so regular users can't perform administrative functions. All right, hope it was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.